Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Let's take a look at today's article. So with spring on its way, we're going to see articles about flowers. So it says when to bloom and bloom is when the flower opens up, right? So that is bloom. So when do flowers know that it's time to open up? Well, let's find out in today's article. It says, wonder how flowering plants know when winter is over and to start blooming again. So it's asking, wonder means did you ever think about right have you ever thought about how flowering plants so it's plants that have a flower those are flowering plants know when winter is over and to start blooming again so have you ever thought about it how do they know do they have a calendar do they have a watch well it says here the gene apatala one sends a message to the flowers that it's time to bloom so we know that a gene is kind of like a code uh, you and i have genes and that gene tells us uh, from our parents, right? Uh, what our hair color or what our skin color or different ways that we look, right? So those characteristics are written codes in our genes and we get that from our parents. So these flowers also have that code which tells them certain things about what to look like, how tall to grow. Those are all codes in our genes, right? So there's a gene called the Apatala 1 and it, that gene, that code sends a message to the flower that it's time to open up or it's time to bloom. When the gene is turned on, it tells other genes to send a stop signal so that the plant stops making leaves and a go signal to tell plants uh, to make flowers. So the genes inside, right, like the code inside which tells the plants when to grow, when to stop, and also when to make leaves, it's controlling when all of that is happening, right? So when the gene is turned on, when that code is starting to work inside the flower, it tells the other parts of the flower, right, stop opening and also uh, stop making leaves and go signal to make flowers. So it's controlling the growth of uh, the flower. And it says the Apatala 1 also gets signals from the sun to alert flowers to bloom, right? So how do they know? Well, it starts, I guess, with the sun. And when there's a lot more sun, then they know that winter is over and spring is starting, right? Because the sunlight uh, and the weather, it gets warmer in the spring. So when those things happen, then inside the flower, there is a code or there is a gene called the Apatala 1 and it starts sending messages all over the flower that it's time for it to open up and it's also time for it to make its flowers. But once it starts doing that, there's uh, another gene that tells them, okay, it's enough, right? It's time to stop opening up and stop growing. So it's very interesting. So even a flower, is able to uh, think and spread messages throughout itself so that it knows when to bloom or when to open up. Very interesting. And that is the Apatala 1. That's the part of the gene that's its job to do that. Very interesting. Let's take a look at our questions for today. So if you look at uh, this picture, it's about flowers that are about to bloom. So all around us, because it's going to be spring, uh, flowers are blooming here in Korea. It says, how do flowering plants know when the winter is over and to start blank again? So what is that word, right? We learned about it today. So it's the word about opening up and when a flower opens up, it's blooming. So uh, flowering plants know when to bloom because of what we learned today. And it says, a blank is responsible for sending a message to the flower, uh, to the flowers that it's time to bloom. So what is responsible? So responsible means it has the job, right? So whose job is it to send messages to the flower? Well, it says a gene, right? And I said a gene is like the code inside of a living thing that helps uh, determine or helps shape what it looks like, how it grows, right? You and I have uh, genes and we get that from our parents. Right? And these flowers also have that gene that helps them grow. And the last question, the gene also gets signals from the, where does it get signals from? Does it get it from the computer? Does it get it from a different animal? And we see it in the picture and it gets it from the sun. So when the sun starts coming out and it stays out longer, that's the signal that winter is over and spring is here. So that also gives a signal to the gene. Uh, let's look at the, the question, uh, the sentences, and choose the right answer. It says here, when the gene is turned on, it tells other genes to send a stop signal so that the plant stops making what? 
So petals, leaves, or branches. Well, we know that uh, plants don't have branches, trees have branches. And petals or leaves, those are parts of a flower, but do you remember which one we talked about? The leaves, right? Uh, it's, it tells the flowers to also stop making the leaves, so it sends a signal. Also, B, it says, a green signal, a blinking signal, or a go signal from the gene tells plants to make flowers. So what's the signal about? Uh, I don't think it's blinking. Blinking is, right, closing and opening. It's not that kind of signal. Uh, green signal, well, if you go outside in the street, when cars go, it's green. So uh, that's also similar meaning to the correct answer, which is a go signal. Go signal means it's time to do something, right? So a green, uh, a go signal uh, from the gene tells plants to make flowers. Okay, and the last question, the gene responsible. So we said responsible means it's its job. So the gene who's got the job of sending green signals to plants and flowers is, what's it called? Is it the Apatala one, the Atilala one, or the Aptara one? So do you remember the name of the gene? The name of the gene is the Apatala one. So this gene in the flower, one of many, this gene's job or responsibility is to send a signal that it's time to blossom, right? So it doesn't just happen for no reason, but now you know that it's because of this special gene. So when you see flowers all around, you can tell your friend, hey, that's the Apatala 1 gene that's telling the flower to blossom. I hope you enjoyed today's article, and as we see many flowers in spring, I, will, I hope you share this information to your friends and your family. I hope you do well and I will see you again next time. Goodbye everyone.